This is a follow on to episode 6 of QVT and this is part 2, going over more of the render tab. So let's get on to it. So this is episode 6, part 2 of Chessup QVT and in this one I'm going over the rest of the render tab. So we come to materials and we've got these, diffuse, metal, plastic, glass, cloud and emission. Diffuse, I don't know exactly what it does, but it's a uh, metal allows us to create a more shiny metal look. It reflects the light off of our scene. Plastic, similar to metal, makes a plastic look, but the reflection is refracted. We can change the roughness to change the reflection from no reflection to reflection. Glass allows us to make see-through like glass. As you can see here, I've turned it all the way up so it's see-through. If I turn it down, it goes non-see-through. We can turn the refraction up to have lots of refraction or down. Roughness changes the see-through like glass to not see-through to see-through. Attenuation puts it as foggy like see-through or not. Cloud as you can guess creates it as a hazy like cloud and we can turn the mix up or down. Emission allows us to emit our current object. So I've turned it up here and we can turn up the power to change the intensity of the light. LDR changes the colour likeness of the light. Here we go to image size. We can change the image size by dragging up or down. Or we can also change the image size by inputting a number. Sampling allows us to configure the sample size of our scene. For example, more samples equals a better quality image, but more render time or less samples equals a faster render time but a less quality image. Now on to camera. Lens allows us to change the field of view so we can zoom right in or zoom out. We have three camera modes, perspective, SG or panoramic. This is SG, this is panoramic, okay, it's in the panoramic view. Now on to aperture, from what I can gather, allows us to blur the background of the focus. Blade as well, from what I can gather of my notes here, allows us to change the sharpness of the scene. Focus, as you can guess, we can change the focus size of our scene, but we can also click anywhere on our scene to focus in. Exposure allows us to change the brightness of our scene, so very bright, to not so bright. Vignette allows us to add Vignette style camera view. Tone allows us to change the colour toneness of our scene. So here we go to not so tone and tone. Now for bloom I need to emit, make this emit and then I go into this, click that and we can configure our bloom size. So I just go into size, aspect and change it. So I've just changed the background to dark and as you can see it's going bright around the edges and that's called bloom. And finally onto image settings. So we have photo and turntable. With photo we can change the width and the height and click render to render out the image. And MRT which albedo refers to colours and we've got normal as well. We have de-noise which I, from what I can gather de-noises our scene. As you can see there's dots around here if we click de-noise. As you see here it de-noises our scene. Here is an example of the photo render. Now on to turntable animation which allows us to create a turntable animation. 
so we can change how many frames we want what angle we want and when it moves we can change the blur here is an example of turntable animation and we also have MRT and filter as well so this is going to be about it for chestnut qvt i've opened my tardis scene here as this may be the last episode of chestnut quick voxel tutorial and if you're watching these thank you for watching any of these i really do appreciate it there may be more voxel type tutorial videos but i don't know exactly what those are and I also will continue to any other video I upload to my channel. So stick around to see that. So yeah, this is my box of TARDIS to end off on this video. If this is the last one, thank you for watching them. And that's going to be about it. Have a good day, night, evening or whatever in between. Chestnut out. <laughs>